Polyboard can be used directly in combination with external optimization software due to its wide range of post processors. The DXF post processor is used in such cases to output all files so that they can be used and loaded into an external optimization software. In this example we use Polyboard's DXF output in combination with VCarve Pro that contains a standard nesting feature. Let's see how we do this. Here is an example cabinet that we are going to process. This cabinet contains also two different materials. First we need to set up the cutting list options which you can find in the cutting list menu. Select ungroup models and also set the cutting list to individual cutting list. This ensures that the DXF file will be generated for all individual parts. Click OK. We are now going to output the DXF files. Go to the file menu and select the post processor export. Here we choose a standard DXF post processor. Save the file by clicking on OK. We get a report on screen showing the generated DXF files for this output. Click on OK. We are now in VCarve and started a new job. We need to pull in all DXF files per material type from the polyboard output. Go to the menu Gadgets and select DXF Batch Processor. A new window opens and there we select the folder we need to import. Click on Choose and the browser will open on your last used location. In this case we use the folder called Generic 0180 and click OK. All files within this folder will be loaded when confirmed. Set the layout control to provide a clear repetition of the parts on screen. The next parameters, as drawing dimensions and origins, will only be used if no job was started prior to the import process. As we did start a job, we just keep these parameters. Click on OK. VCarve starts the import and the window shows us the result on the number of imported files. Click OK. All parts are now on screen and we select the nesting icon on the left side of the screen. We need to preset some values. Set 12mm as tool diameter, 1mm as clearance value and 10mm as border gap. In the parts nesting option you can allow rotations depending on if the material contains grain direction or not. In our example there is no grain direction so we allow a rotation angle of 90 degree. We do not allow mirroring of parts nor allow parts inside others. Select the remove original parts so that if a part gets rotated only the rotated version will be kept. Set your sheet options as the reference corner and the nesting direction. Skip the nest boundary parameters as this is used to nest all parts within a specific shape defined by layer. To select all parts click on Ctrl A. All parts on the sheet are now selected. Back on the nesting feature you can now define the individual parts properties. This is to define the quantity you need for each part. We leave this to one piece as the correct quantity of parts was already defined by the polyboard output. Click now on the preview button. The nesting starts and the result shows a two sheet nesting. Click OK to leave the nesting feature. Sheet 1 was not used so in the sheet tab we can switch off this sheet. We will now create the different toolpaths by loading our toolpath template. Go to the right side of the screen and select the Load a Toolpath Template button. Select your template. Click Yes to apply the template on all sheets. You get a new window showing missing layers. Select the second option on the lower side to delete all toolpaths associated with these missing layers and click OK. The template is loaded and during the process you get the usual warning when you cut through the material. Just click OK to proceed with the import. When done you will see the different process toolpaths per sheet on the right side. Click now on the preview toolpath icon. Select the sheet you want to preview. In this case we select sheet number 2 and click on preview visible toolpaths. The process starts and the final result will show on screen. To preview the next sheet, select sheet 3 and select all toolpaths. Click again on preview visible toolpaths. The process runs again and you will now see the result of sheet 3. Click on close. We will now perform the post processor output for the machining files. Select all sheets and make sure all toolpaths are selected. 
click on the Save Toolpad button. As you have multiple sheets, select Visible Toolpads to multiple files and also select Group where possible. Select the appropriate PROS processor and click on Save Toolpads. Select the destination folder. Set the name for the file. In this example, the name of the cabinet, polyboard vcarf and click Save. As you can see, the files are now saved per sheet, ready to be processed on your CNC. Polyboard and vcarf Pro can work efficiently together using Polyboard's DXF post processor and the DXF import and nesting features in vcarf. Thanks for watching this video.